Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm back with a very interesting video. So you know this device, this small thing, this is a piezoelectric disc and it is a very interesting gadget because we can use it as an input device as well as an output device. Ah, uh, this doesn't end here. We can use it to harvest energy as well. So in this particular video, we are going to check how we can use it as an input and output device. In any other video, we will check out how the energy harvesting thing works. So without any delay, let's kick off today's video. First of all, let's see how to do the soldering of this uh, piezoelectric disc. So first of all, I'm connecting it to my soldering station. Now I will apply some soldering wire to two different type of discs available in this piezoelectric disc. Now we will connect the wires. So the middle disc is the positive one. So we are connecting the yellow one and the black one in the outer space. So something like this. Now it's done. So now in the other side of the wire, I'm soldering a jumper wire so that it will be easy to connect it with the breadboard. And now I'm connecting this heat sink tube and now it's done. So now we need to use the Arduino Nano and I have connected it to a breadboard already. We need an LED light. You can use any color and we need an one mega ohm register. It will be connected between the piezo sensor. And this is how we have soldered it perfectly. Right. So now let's check out how this is working. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the circuit connection and the circuit diagram is already given in the link. Uh, check out the description. There you can find the link to the circuit diagram as well as the code. Both are available. So you can check out that. After completing the circuit, I'm connecting the Arduino Nano to my computer so that I can upload the codes. Okay, so now it's time to upload the code. So open up Arduino IDE and open this input code so first of all we have declared the d4 pin as the led as output pin then we have connected the sensor pin to a0 analog pin then we have declared a threshold value here we have taken 500 you can take any number like 600 700 whatever you want then there is this void setup part where we have declared the serial input and output then we have connected this uh, uh, devices and declared as input and output devices. And uh, here in the loop, we are uh, reading the analog value. Then we have uh, this uh, if else loop that will continuously check the value. And according to that, the LED will glow. Now here select the board as Arduino Nano and select a COM port. And then upload the code to your Arduino Nano. This will take some time. After that, we are going to check the output in the serial monitor. Here you can see 1023 a constant value we are getting. This is the highest value you can get from the piezo sensor. And now we am I tapping on it. As you can see, see the value is reducing. And according to this, the LED will also glow or stop. At the same time also we can check on the serial plotter the value of so that so we have used it as an input device now we are going to use it as an output device connection is very simple just remove the positive wire and connect it to the d3 pin of the arduino nano and it's all done to run it as an output device we have to upload a separate code so we have to open this arduino id code and this is little different and we have added a pitches.h library which is basically the tone library of NodeMCU and you have to download it separately this is not an inbuilt library and there are some of other parameters and functions are there about the tones library so you can read them and then upload this particular code to your Arduino Nano and then see the results so these are the different different kind of tones that we are getting from this piezo sensor and what is this particular tune if you are recognizing it let me know in the comment section below so 
So I hope that this video is helpful for you. Then don't forget to click on that like button. And you have any thoughts, any suggestions, the comment section is all yours. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me. All my social media handles are in the description below. And yeah, that's all about it. See you in the next one. Till then, be cool, work smart.